The only thing better than fish flesh is what's hidden inside. They're eggs. Who would have thought that little balls stolen out of a fish's belly would become the world's most expensive food? But not all fish eggs are equal. Cheap salmon eggs are commonly extracted in fish farms raising salmon for their flesh. In the wild, when salmon are ready to spawn, their instincts guide them back to the place where they were born to lay their eggs. In fish farms, salmon have the same instinct. So when it's spawning time, farmers open up special channels that the salmon can swim through to get back to where they were born, but instead, they end up on conveyor belts inside a factory. What a fun surprise! In the factory, workers slice open the bellies of the salmon and scoop out their eggs. After the salmon's reproductive organs are used, then the rest of their bodies can be used too. Their carcasses are sent off to be sold on store shelves. Except for Atlantic salmon. This species can spawn five times in their lifetime, so farmers get more caviar if they keep them alive. Instead of slicing them open, workers simply stick a knife into the fish's genital opening with no pain relief. And yes, fish feel pain. And then squeeze her eggs out of that little hole. And then throw her back in her underwater cell until the next spawning season. It sounds pretty gross, I know. But don't worry, they sterilize the knife so the eggs are clean. Plus, they add antiseptics to the caviar anyways to prevent the growth of pathogens. The disinfectant. disinfectant. And the fish lives for multiple years, going through this procedure many times, always having her babies stolen from her for a better use. But salmon eggs are relatively cheap and often called caviar substitute. Real caviar comes from sturgeon fish species, like the beluga fish. Beluga caviar can sell for three to five thousand dollars per pound, or two to three hundred dollars per ounce. The unique taste of beluga caviar has led to these animals being over-harvested. Now, they're a critically endangered species. Which is great, because now that there's less beluga caviar available, producers can charge more for it. That's classic supply and demand. Don't you just love capitalism? Beluga fish have been around for 100 million years. And in our short time on Earth, humans are already threatening to wipe them out. Pretty epic. But unfortunately, in 2006, the international trade of wild sturgeon from the Caspian and Black Seas was banned. Stupid species conservationists. Well, not to worry. Caviar producers started farming these ancient animals for their eggs. It just takes a lot of time. Salmon develop eggs after around 8 months, but sturgeon fish take 7 to 25 years to reach sexual maturity. So in farms, these fish are raised for seven or more years until they reach sexual maturity and then their bellies are cut open and their eggs are removed. Farmers don't know exactly when they will spawn, so they have to do ultrasounds to look and biopsies to test the egg development. No wonder caviar is so expensive when they have to use the same advanced medical technology that's used during human pregnancies. You might be wondering, is it really worth using up all those resources during the decade that it takes for the sturgeon fish to reach sexual maturity just to get the eggs inside her? Of course it is! Like a Rolex or Jimmy Choo's, caviar is a sign of wealth. It even sounds fancy. Caviar. The most expensive food on the planet is almas caviar, which comes from a 100-year-old albino beluga sturgeon. Can you imagine killing a fish older than your grandma for her eggs? So cool! They say as the sturgeon gets older, her eggs are more elegant and delicious. Mmm. It isn't just fish eggs though. People around the world also enjoy eating fish sperm, also called male fish roe or soft roe. You get that yummy fish taste with the delightful consistency of custard. Mmm! Tribon, a town in the Czech Republic, calls itself the world capital of fried fish sperm. That would be impressive. But there's not that much competition. Well, whatever kind you can afford, I hope you try some fish ova or sperm. It's a great source of omega-3s. Though fish don't actually produce omega-3, they get it from seaweed and algae. Humans can get omega-3 from seaweed or algae directly, but that's just less fancy than ripping open animals' bellies and stealing their ova. Let me know what cool, cruel products you want me to review next.